Hi. Hi. We're out here at, at um, 16th and Cap, truly, and uh, this is Tiny. Tiny, can you explain what we're doing here today? It's called Art Back to Land, and four magazines take on or in solidarity with the um, Sidewalks are for People action. Uh, we're actually, it's a long history that Poor Magazine has of taking back the land and being a poor people-led and Dehina people-led organization. We already feel like the land and resources and housing and everything has been stolen from us and then every so often they'll throw a crumb at us called GA or SSI and as we see now with these budget KKK cuts, then they'll take them back. And as impending on 7,000 GA recipients in Oakland, our brothers and sisters over there, um, End us, end us up with absolutely nothing. So steal our shit first, throw back at us with the crumb, and then take it all back. So um, now they're they trying to take back the uh, the sidewalk. Exactly. So in San Francisco, they have an ordinance uh, to further criminalize public spaces, uh, criminalize poor people in general, certain people. Lest you think it's not a racist and classist lie, uh, then look at yuppies sitting at a, a concert in Golden Gate Park and notice if a cop is giving them a citation for sitting on the, on the cement or the grass or any other public space. Right. Um, so, no, this is most definitely aimed at poor people, poor people of color, migrant people. Uh, right now, the direction is Hate Street, um, and I believe that was an intention to go after the seemingly white, uh, middle-class, homeless people that people don't care about as much, so even organizers don't care about. But the ultimate goal is making sure that all public spaces are criminalized so that after they take our land, our resources, and our, and our you know, everything else, they can put us in the largest public housing, which is jail. Yep. Um, so this is our back to land. We resist all controlled systems of housing, education, resources, and the whole